Hey guys, and welcome to a week in the life of a final year medical student. I've been asked so many times to do more day in the life videos. I thought, why not give you guys more? And I mean, way more. I hate talking to a medical student. I'll be taking you through what a realistic week looks like at medical school when you're literally a few months away from graduating. From the realities of placements to the epic games nights, the exam study sessions, all whilst goofing around and having an overall lit time. So make sure you keep watching. Good morning! To anyone who's new here, I'm Simran, a final year medical student studying at Imperial. I'm currently on my four week psychiatry placement, which was supposed to happen last year really, but got cancelled because of you know who. This is my second week and I'm attached to the psych liaison team. As always, I'm running late, so let's go! I have arrived and the sun is shining. I'm just walking to my placement. I parked on a road where there's free parking and it's a 10 minute walk. So yeah, let's go. Genuinely, I don't know who I think I am yet. I'm literally not even wearing a coat. This is like what happens when you are used to the car life, you know? You just screw screw it everywhere and you don't even think about where you're gonna find parking. It's actually freezing, guys. I can't lie to you. I'm so cold. By the time I introduced myself to the team, it was 9.55. Due to social distancing measures, only eight people were allowed in the room. So I sat outside whilst they did the morning handover. My default activity at placement when I'm waiting around is to bust out a few Brainscape cards. The liaison team had no new patients to review that morning, so I helped type out a discharge summary. This is super, super useful for next year when I start working. Can't believe I'm saying this, but it's happening. Then it was time for lunch. So I went to the common room and saw my friend <laughs> Aish. She wants me to look up TikTok stuff. No, so I should do. <laughs> she needs to do the this or that challenge. <laughs> Oh my god, Aisha, you're actually watching too many TikToks. It's too much, it's too much. Let's just not talk about it. Then it was time for some online teaching. It was all about the Mental Health Act, the Mental Capacity Act, and the sections that are used in psychiatry. It was really practical, and I love tutorials like this because she made us complete a Section 52 form. This is used in an emergency, and as an FY2 doctor, it's something that I may have to do. Oh my god, guys, the time is... 4.09 and I was told by my team to come back once I'd finished the lecture. Normally like on placements they're really nice and they just let you go home if you have teaching this late which is like 2.45 to like 4. Hopefully there's a patient to see because otherwise all she's going to tell me is you can go home and why did I stay here for this long? We move, we move. I ended up back on the ward and after sitting through 40 minutes, yes guys, 40 minutes worth of niche psychiatry lectures, still no patient seen, I was finally given the go ahead to go home. So I headed back down to my car. I parked in a bit of a dodgy area, so I'm a bit scared right now. I literally like ran into my car. Oh my God, okay, it's a bit scary. My phone has run out of charge and so have I. It's 5 to 10. And the thing is, you would think after six years of being in medical school, one would learn how to be like, I need to go home and i need to work but like i just can't do it guys i just can't do it after a two hour commute on the way back home because of rush hour i was finally back home and clearly nothing was going my way i ended up napping eating with my eyes half shut and going back to bed good night people I'm already running late so we'll update you later bye 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 hello everyone and good morning Ooh, it has been a bit of a rush this morning I woke up and I was a bit of a mess because I woke up late I had like way too much sleep but yeah I'm feeling good about today I'm feeling like okay sim today we're gonna go in we're gonna see a patient fingers crossed that is the plan that is the plan yesterday's parking stitch was a bit dodgy so I decided to pay for parking and park on hospital grounds because you know safety the manifesting really worked because this morning I got to see a patient with an f1 I typed up the history which really helped me recap key questions that I need to ask in all psychiatry histories it was then finally time for lunch I headed down to my usual spot and guess who I bumped into. I, mean, I had an interesting day today. It was just a very eventful day. It's kind of just sad that we didn't get to do normal fight because of COVID, but it's what you make of it. So. Yeah. 
I headed back up and got some incredible teaching from the reg and filled out some paperwork for, you're not gonna believe it, got my flu jab. The drive home was so picturesque. I'm such a sucker for sunsets. Before I headed home, I went to my secret stash and got myself some munch for the journey. I'm back home now. Why, why is my, what's happening? I'm just recording my video. Hello. Hello. Come say hi. Hi. It's a birthday <laughs> gift for Sima. Wait, already it's here. 12 Pro Max. Whoa. Danny. I don't want to open it. Mm. Thank you, Dada. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm. As you saw, my dad just came in and gave me my um, early birthday present. But anyway, can you just see, like, I'm in a better mood. I'm feeling good. And it's because today was actually a really good day in firms. In the afternoon, I got to review the patient that I saw in the morning with uh, someone a bit more senior. And then I got to see two new patients. The registrar, she went through all the notes that I had written in the morning. And we refined it. And she was really good at teaching me. I feel like I could actually now type out a whole psych history in enough detail at an adequate level which is very different to how I was feeling this morning. I cleaned my room and hopped in the shower. Tuesdays are family days in the Hilari household. Today dad was cooking up some piri piri chicken and mash. I'm sorry but Nando's what? Then we chilled together looking at old pictures. Who is that cutie putu? <laughs> but he's so oh, handsome. Yeah. Dad. Back in the day man. <laughs> Discussing the Bristol stool chart. That's how they classify poo in hospitals. Uh, oh good, I think that's normal. Mine's obviously patient confidentiality so won't be disclosing any of those deets. And finally, to end the night we played Amdavadi, which is a game that my nana and nani taught us. It's kind of like Ludo but with shells. <laughs> Good morning. I had an amazing line this morning. It's 8:20. We're gonna get up and have a shower. I'm finally getting around to sorting out the absolute state of my hair. It takes me a whole entire morning to do this. I firstly wash my hair, then style my hair, scrunch, 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 awkwardly plop my hair, and then dry my hair with a diffuser to try to get some luscious curls. I spent some time FaceTiming one of my friends and we're finally ready to get some work done. I was on my phone looking at my calendar and I realized I have 21 days left till my situational judgment test. If you watch one of my previous videos, you'll know where the situational judgment test fits in to applying for foundation year jobs. But just to kind of quickly summarize, so you have a maximum of 100 points, 50 points come from your educational performance measure, other 50 points come from your situational judgment test. So as you can imagine, it's a bit of a high pressure exam in the sense that a lot is resting on it because it can really determine where you get played. It's an exam that you can kind of prepare for, but you don't want to over prepare for because otherwise you can get analysis paralysis, um, which I thought is a really cool term. You can over analyze things and overthink it and then mess up putting the answers down. So I think 21 days is enough to prepare for this exam. I decided to make a timetable for the next two weeks to help me figure out how I'm going to split my time between SJT prep and finals in March. First, I make a list of all the resources that I need to go through and then split it up evenly within the next two weeks. To celebrate finishing the timetable, I thought why not go and say hi to Alicia and this is what I get. It's not a week in my life, it's in your life. Stop <laughs> recording me. Okay, I'll record us together. So we've ventured outside on a walk because we basically just sit on our butts all day long. So this is our walk for the day. This would be some cute video montage. But this is what happens when we go on a walk. <laughs> Sima! <laughs> it was time for lunch and I made myself a little wrap with some leftover chicken from yesterday. I made a 
start on going through one of the official mock SJT papers. I work so, so much better when I'm working with others. So I put on my live study with me and did an hour of studying. I ended up taking an extended break because I was so excited to unbox my new phone. At 7.30, we came together as a family to pray. I'm not really hungry right now, so I'll eat later. So I'm gonna go upstairs and do some more SJT work because I got a bit distracted by setting up my phone. So I need to go back and actually do what I said I was going to do. I had dinner and played a game of our fave on the body before giving my sister her new phone. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow, you look so pretty. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna set mine up. Oh my god, this is so nice. Bye. Bye. I'm thinking about retiring for the day. I feel like making the SJT timetable has actually made me a bit more stressed, but I think stress is good in the sense that. Um, it's going to push me to do more tomorrow. I'm going to change the pillow covers because I've got these satin pillow covers that my friend Amarini, she recommended these. And I just got around to getting them. So apparently they're really, really good for your hair. Right, guys, I'm going to go to bed. It's just past 12. So, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, friends. I like to wake up a bit later and like not set any alarms or anything, especially when I'm at home um, and I don't have to go into placements. So currently the time is 8.23. And also review on these satin pillows. They're actually really nice. It's all oh, soft, I love it. Got back into bed and wrote out a few bullet points for things I'd like to cover in my journey to medicine video, which should be out by the time that you're watching this. I then hopped into the shower and got started on doing the second official mock SJT paper. As this can be quite a time pressured exam, I set myself a timer. So guys, I've just finished doing the SJT paper, paper number two. I'm really hungry and my brain isn't working at the moment. Let's go and eat. If any of you are wondering, it's part of Indian culture to eat with our hands. I continued watching Grey's Anatomy in bed. Anytime I watch it, it feels like a massive throwback to when I was applying to uni because it's been my fave since day. I started going through paper B, marking it and reading over the UK FPO explanations. Just as a quick interruption, I'm going to be putting some pseudo cream on my face because it's looking kind of ugly. Also, I always use cotton buds for things like this because I don't want to be double dipping and stuff. I've been marking paper too and it hasn't been really going that well. I didn't realise how hard it was. Like when you're going through it, you think your answers are okay. But when you read up on the explanations compared to what you've put down, you're like, oh, that's what they were looking for. And it's actually really confusing because you can't really prepare for it. But I guess all I have to keep doing is just going through it again and again. I'm feeling very disheartened right now. I have just finished marking the SJT paper and could see from the previous clip, I was quite disheartened, but it kind of got a bit better as I like continued marking, but I still feel a bit shit. So what I'm gonna do is, it's nearly 7.30, so I'm gonna go downstairs and pray with my family. I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna film my YouTube video for this week. You just need to do something to make yourself feel better. I clearly have had a little bit of a transformation. I feel so much better now. We're gonna end the day off on like a I've just finished recording now and I need to take off all my makeup. I literally had my makeup on for like two, two hours, two, three hours. I took off my makeup and then tied my hair in a satin scarf and I was super tired, so I just went to bed. Good morning, guys. Oh, I'm so tired. I think it's because I slept a bit late, you know. My outfit for the day was a simple v-neck black jumper with some checkered trousers. It was freezing and so foggy on the road. Despite the weather conditions, I managed to get there on time. Guys, 
guys, even the lady who gives out the mask in the morning asked me why I'm not wearing my coat. She's actually concerned about my well-being. Again, due to social distancing measures, the consultant and I sat in a smaller room. It was a busy morning. I got to see a few patients before heading to the canteen to get myself a cheese toasty and a cheeky dairy milk chocolate bar. I had to get a case signed off as part of my time in community psychiatry. And since I had seen quite a lot that week, that was quite easy to write down. So guys, I'm done with psych liaison. It was my final day this morning. I wrote a little note for my F1 who was like helping me out this week because she was super nice. I wrote that note and I left it there whilst I was leaving because she wasn't there to say bye. And they asked me like if I was doing anything this afternoon and I was like, yeah, I've got teaching. I think I may head off home after because I have revision to do and they were very nice about it. I don't know why I just didn't say this on the first day. It's my community psych week done. I think we're gonna head home now for an early finish on a Friday and who doesn't love that? <laughs> quick nap just rest because i'm just a bit tired from driving really so oh my god it's already two yeah i'll start working at three i was lying down when i got a voice note from changavi and she clearly missed me a lot yeah i just wanted to say i missed you every time i miss you i'm so glad you have a youtube channel because then i can just go get a bit like a burst of similar energy so we spoke for a bit she also has a youtube channel so make sure you go check her out We are going for a run and we will show you. Wait, I'm jogging, I'm jogging, I'm jogging. We're jogging, we're jogging, we're jogging. I'm jogging, I'm jogging, I'm jogging. We're jogging, we're jogging, we're jogging. There were so many Christmas lights. It made me feel so festive. I had some chickpeas and rice for dinner and then had a little bit of a washing up party. Today is Friday night and on weekends I play Among Us with my uh, friends and I'm so excited. At like 9, 10 I just put away everything and all we do is play Among Us and it just makes me so happy. She's in cafeteria! Run! Where did you go? I just saw you. Where did you go? <laughs> We were doing so well. We were like on a killing spree. Was we were so good. We were like, we were like bam, bam, bam. Proper sleepy now. That's a good night from me. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday. I need to edit the video that I recorded. Uh, and it's being uploaded tomorrow and the thing is right I've put it out there on the internet like into the universe that like I'm uploading a video tomorrow Some people may be expecting a video tomorrow um, Not that I'm like hyping myself up or anything But I think it's really good having an accountability partner because sometimes self-motivation is just not enough So I feel like having an accountability partner really helps with that. I tell someone that I'm gonna do something I am more inclined to do it. Top tip for the day. That's so cringe <sighs> Alicia, don't hit! Oh, you may have ruptured my spleen. Oh my god. I hate talking to a medical student. Oh. The weekends are a bit of a chore day. I put away all the washing that had been done, hopped in the shower and got ready for the day. I had a potato toasty for breakfast with chai as I taught Alicia how to use the gram. I put another load in the wash and played a game of, you guessed it, Amdavadi, whilst I finished my chai. I continued to do SJT prep throughout the afternoon. really bad at filming but the next thing I have recorded is a trip to Tesco. Can we just appreciate how healthy our trolley looks? Oh I don't get work done at home. <laughs> this is what a lit Saturday night looks like. Guys it's like one o'clock. I've been trying to edit the video for tomorrow, but it's just taking a bit long, you know? I 
have just woken up and I look like an absolute mess. You miss me too much. Okay. Bye. This is the face when you realise the sheer amount of editing you have to do because you literally talk way too much. Alicia, I'm a YouTuber, okay? Like, I have two videos going on simultaneously. Wow. Aww. Alicia gave me some feedback on the video and we went downstairs to cook up a big Sunday brunch. Obviously with my foreign juice. I had tutoring it around 12 for an hour and then I edited the video for literally like so long. I made a thumbnail as quickly as I could and finally uploaded the video. Guys, I'm in my Nana and Nani's room because I'm so done with being in my room. Like, I've been in my room for the last, like, God knows how many hours trying to get this video out. And I think, like, it just shows that I'm such a last minute person. Like, I'll literally, like, leave things till the last minute. Yeah, I'm so done. <sighs> also, I need to eat food because since that breakfast, I literally haven't had any food. And I'm super hungry and I think that's why I have a headache right now. But... Anyway, this brings us to the end of the video and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you want to see more of me, make sure to check out my other videos and yeah, see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you for watching. Keep watching. Bye bye!